perfect. That's dead perfect. Man. Okay, do that. Okay, here we are. Today's video. Kenny and I are going to work on grip, basically gripping the pool cue, and the importance of that, and the importance of the pause in the back. You'll see all all good players. Look at even look at even the woman player, Sabine Chen. I think she does the best job on this. We, I mean, like she's like great. So you'll see her pull back and stop there for, I mean, almost a second and a half, and then go through. And the reason for that is, is because a lot of players, you'll see, they get down and they aim their ball and they come real fast and they, and they hit the ball fast. Well, what happens is they're poking the ball. So the whole idea of the pause in the backstroke is to, it helps you go through the cue ball to the object ball. So here we are, we're gonna get down to the balls. We're gonna get down, we're gonna come back slow, we're gonna pause and go through the ball. See, my stick goes forward, it doesn't stop at the cue ball. And that's really important to the game. Because you'll find yourself a lot, if you're gonna poke the ball, you'll find your cue ball, you'll be confused again. So rather than me do it anymore, we're gonna have Kenny come here. I'm gonna have Kenny do it. I'm gonna tell, show Kenny how to do it. Come on over here, Kenny, okay? And after this, we're going to go to the grip. Then we're going to come back to this. So, Kenny, what I want you to do is I want you to line up on the ball, like you're supposed to line up, and once you pull back and pause, just keep your hand there and then just go forward. There you go. See how far he went through the ball? Now, we're going to do this again from a different area here. Kenny going to shoot this ball right here and you're going to see the cue ball is on the spot so we're going to see how far Kenny can go through the cue ball when he pauses so keep your stick out there when you're done Kenny okay say okay all right got it see okay so see how far he had probably a five inch to five to six inch follow through okay what I want you to do is I you get the cue ball over there. I want you to shoot the same shot, and I don't want you to pause. Okay. And we're going to see how much follow through he has. He has about half that. Do it again, yeah. So Kenny's not going to pause on this. He's going to shoot it again. See his follow through? I want you to keep your stick out there, Kenny. Show it on, okay? So here's Kenny going to shoot it again. And we're going to see he's going to quick stroke in the back, right? And he's got only half the follow through. Not even that. Not even half. Maybe a third. So the whole point of this is that we want to go through the cue ball as far as we can go to get the maximum speed or control on the cue ball. Other than that, we're going to confuse the cue ball and we're going to be like a lot of people and we're going to get down here and we're going to quick stroke this and we're not going to go through it at all. We're going to get down. I got like no follow through at all quick stroking the ball. But now, like I said, the whole reason is, and this is, you probably thought, you know, in, in your pool experience that how come I hit this ball and it didn't go where I wanted it to go. Well, that's the whole reason right there, because you didn't follow through. And you know, we've all heard of follow through. So if you pause in the back on your backstroke, you are, you got nowhere to go. You pause in the back, stop, you got nowhere to go, go forward. And that's the important part of this. So here we go, I'm gonna light up on the ball. I'm gonna light up on the ball, and I'm gonna light up, and come back slow to stop. See the ball through that I have? Right here? So that's the importance of the pause in the backstroke. You see a lot of people doing it, you say, why do they stop in the back? Well, that's why, because if they stop in the back, all they can do is go forward. They aren't going to quick stroke the ball. And it's real important. What do you think, Kenny? You know, that's, there's a lot of people that have different strokes and they have different ideas on how to stroke. And you know what, a lot of, this is not for everybody. You know, you got to do what you feel natural and comfortable with. There's people that don't use this and shoot great as well. But uh, <laughs> this fundamental is very, very basic and it simplifies everything that makes it a lot easier. And there's less, 
how do you say that? Less um, room for error. Room for error. Yeah. But I would explain. I would explain the process in what I do when I do it. What I do is I stop twice. So I identify the shot, of course, to split the difference, and then then I get down on the ball, and I take as many practice strokes as I want. Okay. But then before I go to my backswing, I stop at the cue ball. I don't do anything else just to make sure I'm staying same in the right spot. I pull back. I pause and then I go through. So that's like a checklist for me. And you'll see a lot of the good players, you know, like Shane, uh, even Samik Chen. Oh my God, what, what a, a beautiful stroke she has. Chris Melly, you know, uh, Aranis, Earl Strickland, they all do the same thing. They pause on the cue ball, they come back here and pause, and then they go all the way through. And it's, it's really important to pool. So, you know, you can. Just experience with it, see how it works for you. And the other thing we haven't really got into in any of our videos is a focusing on just the object ball. So, and you'll see when, when a lot of the good players, when they line up and they stop on that cue ball, their head comes up and it's only looking at the target. Well, the reason for that is, let's just use a scenario where an archer, you know, somebody that used a bow and arrow, looking at his target and he pulls back he pulls back real slow on on his on his uh, on his bow and then he looks at his target look at his target and he lets it go he doesn't look at his head he looks at the target so the same thing is here because a lot of us like I used to do is we look at it we see it in our peripheral vision if he would say oh you look at the object ball last week yeah I do of course I do well the problem is I really didn't just because I saw it in my peripheral vision didn't mean I saw it last. So what I actually do now is as I line up on this ball, I'm going to have Kenny do it in a minute. He's going to show you that it's great. So we're going to line up on this ball and it's uh, just the difference. We're going to line up on the ball. We're going to go halfway over like we're supposed to. We're going to take our practice stroke. See my eyes on the cue ball right now? And you'll see my eye now is on the object ball, on my target. Okay, So now do you see cue ball, object ball, cue ball, object ball. So now I'm going to take my practice strokes, I'm going to line up, I'm going to take my practice strokes, I'm going to go to fourth, and on my last one, I'm only going to go to object ball, and I'm going to fire, okay? That's all I'm going to do. So it's the important thing about aiming your target, you have to look at the target. And in order to do that, a lot of people, you know, you have to look at the object ball last. So, a lot of people have it in their, they, they think they are, but they're, it's their peripheral vision and everything else, but they really are. So actually their mind, when they go through this ball, is gonna tell them that they went through this ball and to stop at the cue ball because they already made contact. And that's gonna be spinning the ball and everything else. So what happens here, by only looking at this, you're gonna go, you're not gonna pay attention to that once you're lined up and you're gonna go through the ball to the target. So here, I'm gonna do it for you one time. And I'm gonna line up, we know it's splitting the difference here. And I'm gonna line up, then with cue ball, object ball, cue ball, object ball, I'm gonna stop, pull back, see my eyes go up, fire. And my eyes are, are totally forward. They're at anywhere else. Kenny, you try it, okay? Show me how easy it is. And if you any if you, any of you have a problem with this, I'm gonna show you a drill that'll get you to only look at the object ball, and it's fabulous. How easy was that, Kenny? Good. But when you first started doing it, was it easy or was it kind of different? It was tough, and you know what? You got it. You just got to keep practicing it because it feels different. That pause, that pause took me like I don't know a couple of months. I mean, I was taught from the very beginning. Mikey has always told me pull the stick back slow, pause in the back, and fire through. And usually I was like, oh, you know what, what are we pausing for? I never even questioned that, okay. I just figure, okay, if I pause in the back, it, it, you know, I the only way is to go forward and it goes forward straight, and I knew that. But what got better, what he started teaching me, and then he started telling me, then I'm starting hearing from Simming Chan and actually Allison Fisher, if you watch their stroke. They pause in the back, and they just don't pause because they want to pause. They pause because during that pause is when they really, really focus in on, on, the, target. The, on the target where they want to hit. And I, I believe me, and you guys seen this in my last my last few uh, videos. Believe me, when you pause and you focus in, you a lot of people 
you can focus on the whole entire uh, the spot the whole entire time. Okay, they just focus, focus, come down. But in reality, you look at it, you come down, the time when to focus, right here. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Okay. So, and if you have a problem trying to do that, you know, if you have a problem, like, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't the smartest uh, branch on the tree <laughs> when I started. Um, I had like, no hand-eye coordination, I couldn't do a lot of things, but I love pool, so, you know, that's what I did. But how I had to learn how to do it, only looking at the object ball, is I had to, I had to get down in the ball, and I couldn't look on the cue ball, and hit all these balls into the rail like I'm gonna do right now. And you're gonna see my eye, I'm not trying to make any ball in a pocket. If it banks it or whatever, it banks it, but I'm not trying to make it. But you'll see my eyes when I get down, I'm gonna get down, and I'm only looking at the object ball right here, and I'm following through right here, and I'm staying. That's all I'm doing the whole time. So that way, you get used to look at the object ball, no matter where it is. So here we are. I'm going to get down, and I'm going to take my, I'm, gonna, I'm only looking at the object ball, but pull back, pause, and fire. Yes, I'm only looking at my spot. Same thing. I don't want to make any of the balls. All I want to do is get used to only looking at the object ball. So I'm going to get down here. Not look at the cue ball. I'm gonna take my little stroke here, and that's all I'm gonna do. Till you get to the point where it's comfortable for you. So when it gets comfort for you, comfortable for you, you're gonna be able to aim the ball, and then you're gonna move your you're gonna move your eyes to the target. Then you're gonna pause in, on your last stroke here. Pause on your last stroke here, and fire. But you're gonna be looking at the target, not the object ball. So. So once you get that down, that little that little drill down, and you're used, you're you're comfortable with looking at the object ball. Now you can put it in your pre-shot routine. So all you need to do is identify the shot, of course, and split the difference. So get down at your ball, take as many strokes as you want, as long as it's important that you stop at the cue ball, stop at your backswing, and go forward. So here we are. I'm going to do it here, and then we're going to have Kenny do it. So. We line it up on the ball, we identify to split the difference. We're gonna take our, our stroke, just keep my eyes on the cue ball, make sure I'm not out of the way, and when I pull back, pause it, only on the object ball, and I fire. You see my eyes up. That's the target, the order of the cue stick. Go ahead, Kenny. And you're gonna see your gonna you're gonna see you're gonna become way more, what's the word I wanna use? Your percentages on what you wanna do, you're gonna be way more consistent by doing it this way, than by doing it that way. Because if I'm looking at this, how can I really look at that? I can't. You, you. So, that's, that's the importance of that. Oh, and once again, we are at the world famous Q Club in Las Vegas, Nevada. And if you ever wanna come down or call, Phone number is 702-735-2884. And Kenny or I are always here. A lot of us think that, okay, um, you know, we're doing certain things and we're getting a lot better, but how come this is happening and how come that is happening? Well, the importance on the grip, the importance, you know, the grip is a big part of the game because if you'll see, when, when I'm shooting this ball, you concentrate on my elbow, right? We, don't, we never want our elbow to come up. It serves, if it happens, it's gonna to happen to all of us. But the more your elbow comes up, the more you're gonna go down with the, with, the, with the cue stick. And that'll cause you to miss cue or kind of mass the ball and you'll miss easy balls. So what I learned was, is to take these three fingers right here, the pinky and the mother two to go up, and to kind of grip, grip the stick, kind of like I call a death grip and I'll tell you why in a second. Because if I if I use that grip on the cue, my, my elbow's not gonna go up. And all I'm gonna do is pull back slow, pause, and go forward. Now, here I'll do it one time. So here I am lined up. I'm lined up for the ball here. I pull back just enough so I, till I feel the tension in my pinky. That's as far as I wanna go back. Because if I go back farther than tension, you see my elbow go up? No good. So. That's one part of it. So here I'm going to shoot this ball, and I'm going to come back slow, 
and I would pull back till I feel the tension right here, and I'm going to go forward. Okay. Did my elbow go up, Teddy? No. no. Okay, now I'm going to show you what happens if you open and close your head when you're shooting this ball, which we all did. It's no, no different. So here we are. We're lined up on this ball, and we're going to open and close. What happens when I open, when I open my... When I open my head, you go up. My elbow goes up, right? And your front of your tip dips. And the front of my tip dips, exactly. So, in order to avoid this, once again, we just want to hold the cue with these three fingers. And the thumb's just going to lay down. These three fingers, and you're going to hold it tight, okay? Just like I am right here. I'm not going to use, I'm not going to let this, my forefinger, hit the cue stick at all, because then I'll be steering, and that's no good. So, here we are, just like this. We're going to get down on the ball, and we're going to line up. We're going to come back slow, stop, pull back, fire. Perfect. And again, you guys have seen all my matches that I play and that I record. And my progress is very, very, very strong, very, very quick. And last, and you guys seen how I've been shooting. I've been very, very smart, thinking about a lot, and focusing. But you didn't take two months off. No, I did not. But... My last tour, uh, my last match, you saw me. I had no clue what was going on. <laughs> I was messing up. I had no idea my mechanics were off. I didn't feel it. And you know what that is? I got cocky. I thought that I knew it. And once I thought, once I get cocky and I feel like, you know what, I know what I'm doing, I started quick stroking it. I forgot everything, all the fundamentals. I just go up, I'll go up to the ball, I'll get down, I'll do a few strokes, and I think I got it right, and then I fire. And you know what, I completely forget about my strokes, slowing down my backstroke, pausing, focusing. Oh, yeah. I forgot everything, and you guys saw that. I just had no clue. And I'm so glad you brought that up, I'm gonna tell you why, okay? Because we're all gonna miss balls. You see, I, I played effort, I miss balls, okay? We're all gonna miss balls all the time. We're only God is perfect, or whatever you believe in is perfect. We are not them. So all that grandiose thinking, and you see people get mad or miss balls. You know, we're only human. It's going to happen. We're going to miss balls. So don't get on yourself just because you miss a ball or if it happens. It's okay. Just smile, enjoy the game, have fun, and try and figure out the why as to why I didn't get so much follow through, or why I didn't get too much draw in the ball, or why it's not doing what I want it to do. As long as you can figure that out, you're ahead of the game. This thing that Mikey's teaching us right now is very, very essential to the game. It's very, very, uh, it'll, let's see, it will allow you to go straight through to the, to, the, to the target that you want to hit, to the point of contact that you want to hit. The stick isn't going to bend, the, you aren't going to bend, you aren't going to go sideways and try and steer it. You're going to, if you come back slow and pause, you come back slow and you come back slow, you just go straight through. But you have to only go back. As far as till you feel the tension on your pinky. When you feel the tension on your pinky, and it may only be this much. Mine is only this much. If I move my hand up, I can go a little bit farther. But when I feel the tension on the pinky, all I want to do is go forward. If I go farther than that, look what happens. My elbow raises, and then my stick goes down and curves, and well, you know all bad. You know the percentages of bad things that happen are are pretty big compared to if I do everything right. And the less motion that you use, the luck, the more accurate, consistent that you will be. Absolutely. Because, and I, I just want to say this again, sorry, Mike. When you and I learned this when you're when I'm stroking it here, and when he's telling you about these two fingers and then the pinky, the pinky actually is the feel that you're using to see how far yeah. you pull back. Because yeah. if you use the pinky and you pull back too far, look what happens to my stick, right? Yeah. It goes. It goes up. Elbow. His go, elbow look, is I'm going to hold like this, and if I pull too far back, look. His elbow comes up, see? It goes back, it goes up. See, so, see, see, see. so if I pull back just to where my, with the tension, hits the pinky and you feel that, just stop. Like that. See? Stop right here. See that? Straight. And you know what? Yeah. There's, there's less chance of making a mistake because there's less movement to make a mistake on. So. Yeah, absolutely. You said that very well, Kenny. Thank you very much. Learned that from you, Mike. So yeah, that's uh, that's the grip. Yeah. And, and one of the reasons I'm doing this, you know, everybody, I, like you probably saw on my Facebook, uh, you know, I put a post on. I, I got a coach also. Michael Jordan had a coach. It's just, and, and his coach wasn't better than Michael Jordan, and, but in some cases maybe they are. But you know, everybody needs that eye above them to let them know what they're doing well. 
And like I said, for years, hey, I, I, I did it a little bit, what was wrong for me. But, you know, I had, I developed ability through practice and practice and practice and practice. So I didn't really think at the time it was wrong. But, so I recently went from opening and closing my grip because I didn't realize that my elbow was going up and down. And I was asking my coach, uh, Neil Morrison, I said, you know, Neil, I said, why? Why? He said, he, he actually told me, he said, Mike, he said, look what you're doing. Look at your elbow. He says, no, we aren't going to do that. And if you're going to do that, I'm not going to work with you. And this is the guy that helped Danny Medina and a lot of champions. So he said, we're not going to do that. What you're going to do is you're going to do it the correct way or you're going to do it no way at all. So he said, if you're really interested in, in getting better and, you know, pulling your game to another level, he said, this is the way you have to do it. And that's just because of my stroke and me. The other people may be different. Maybe they can open and close and they don't, and they don't move their elbow. Fabulous. But for me, I couldn't do it that way. I had to, I had to get down and Neil, he put me through some torture. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, and it was torture for me because I was used to pulling back all the way forward, see my elbow coming up, pulling back all the way, I had a pretty long stroke. Well now, I don't have a long stroke. And the shorter, the shorter, the shorter the, the length from the cue stick from the ball and your bridge, the more accurate you're gonna be. So now it's a lot different for me, and and I'm just and I'm just getting this incorporated into my game, which is great, and I'm totally happy. So that's I just wanted to share it with all of you. Yeah. And I just want to say these things that Mike is teaching us is through uh, experience, pool play, and you know all these. There's so many different ways that people do different. Uh, there's so many different things that people do differently, different ways, and there's more than one way to do one thing. And it's through trial and error. Yes, and this is only for the people that connects with this and understand this and, make, and feels comfortable with something like this. Of course, there's always a million other ways to grip a stick or to stroke or, you know, a pre-shot routine. He's just telling you what he does and what through his experience, through his lifetime experience, of what makes it, what would make it a lot easier for you guys. It doesn't mean it's the only way, it's the, it's the only right way to do it. It's just another way that makes it a lot more simple. And Kenny and I, Kenny and I, love pool and people so much. Like we said in a previous video, if this doesn't work for you, it, it's okay. We're we're okay with that. We just hope and pray that you find something that does work for you, and you're happy with it. If you do, man, more power to you. We are happy because we want people to enjoy the game. We want people to come and have fun. And the better you get, the more fun you're gonna have. And the, the more knowledge you have, the better you're going to be. Absolutely. You no, know, the, the, what he's teaching you now, you might not, if you don't agree with it, That's you're going to, at least in your mind, you're going to know why you don't agree with it and maybe correct it on your own to make it something different that you're more comfortable with. Of course. So Mike now is going to work with me on my game. I'll see you guys later. Hey, have a happy Thanksgiving. Okay, have a Merry Christmas. Uh, and uh, like I said, if you ever come to the Q Club, you call 702-735-2884, give us a call. If we're not here, they'll call us to come down there and uh, have a great day. Peace. Very cool.